Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Stay close together, find help in the town. Oh god, am I already driving? Yeah, you just have to cross <laughs> the bridge of death. So hello, welcome back. Last time the two people, is it Tanya and I keep forgetting the other guy's name, Daniel? They left. I don't even think it's Tanya. Actually, why don't I... No, wrong button. Excuse me. Taylor and Daniel. Tanya was the girl in the intro. Right. Taylor and the guy's Daniel. Angela is the older lady and John is the older man. Mm. We are Andrew. We are almost detached and practical. Ooh. Not quite. I like to think I'm practical. But what about Daniel? <laughs> Hold up. You hear that? Jesus Christ, John. Hop. Nice. Nice. That tells you what the options do. <laughs> what That's not what bike sounds like. Are we okay here? We're good. That noise was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. John, you were the one who panicked and just jumped off the side. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. I Sorry, can't I believe was no one said which to... trials. Uh, I was waiting for them to stop talking to go the wrong way. Sorry. Oh. Is that something on the ground there to you? Right. No, it's just a bit shiny. Yeah. But it could be something. characters do at least while they walk for a bit they all actually do wait which is nice yeah. oh it's good to be back in little hope i've been playing very arcadey games in the meantime <laughs> that's a nice change of pace yeah. playing something narrative dense and uh human it's quite nice what the hell was that now what you all right angela what's up uh, concerned or subdued? Concerned. You look worried. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. I am more or less, but something here just... Uh, what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach. We all have our own way of coping. John here feels the urge to be our leader, the alpha male. Whereas Daniel and Taylor feel an entirely different, somewhat more animalistic urge. What? <laughs> Impressed or amused? I think I'm amused. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Grow up a little, Andrew. If you were stuck with Taylor, you would be no different. Doubtful or dismissive? The girls aren't interested in me or we've bigger th worries now. I suppose dismissive. We have bigger things to worry about. Oh. We do. I'm not sure we're really getting anywhere. We should catch up with John. Angela's really interested in the smut. Oh. That's definitely something. Yes. It's like shapes. Oh, and one of those. There it is. Wait. Is this Chris's blood? <laughs> I'll be investigating this. Ah! Oh! That could have been a Winnebago. 
Do you mean a Wendigo? Oh, maybe. <laughs> Should I go back or keep going forward? No, just keep going forward. Okay. Hello, John. I talk to you as well. Hello. Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? Encouraging or disapproving? Also nothing, of course. Stay positive. I guess I'd try to stay positive. Do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to deal. You see the figure in the background, though. I didn't. What? I have to check in post, I guess. What we saw back there. You think that was really supernatural? Good question. Uncertain or thoughtful? Well, surely people don't really believe in the supernatural. We really can't be sure what it is we've seen. Makes sense to me. John's a man of logic. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. <laughs> I'm tend to, I tend to think towards defined because this is completely different because the evidence is right there. But you could be you know, seeing things or what have you. But go for what you want. I'll go for subdued. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts, whatever else. It's getting the hell out of here. Down Tootin. I mean, ghosts is a simple mathematical problem. Where, where, where are they all? Are yeah. they all? If, if there was ghosts, and are we talking like just people ghosts or like animal ghosts or like? Yeah, it is the whole like there's been way more dead people than there are currently alive people already. So yes, we'd probably have noticed a bit. So much woods. Got woods? Love to go out into woods. Oh, it's a shack. Every five seconds. John runs away at the drop of a hat, yeah. Okay, keep your cool. Watch out, it can change to triangle, remember. I assume it can be any button. No, just triangle. Oh, here we go, yep. Yeah. Boot, 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 boot. It's a chair, oh, and it's a cat. What is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. What exactly are you up to? I'm just taking a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? I won't tell if you don't. Anyhow, there's no one here. And, the, and the, there's no door? There's literally no door. Yeah, surely this is just entering. <laughs> Also, those QTEs, the heartbeats, are so much easier than in Man of Medan. I wasn't very good at those. So, modern magic, magic with and a key. ritual, Ronald Nelson TC. Modern magic and ritual is the definitive guide to the subject of magic with for, a key. for the new age, as opposed to magic for stage magicians. Without a key. Written for practitioners to hone their knowledge and art. This book examines in detail all aspects of modern magic with a key. and offers readers a rich menu of rituals to practice. And may I say congratulations for not shouting that whole thing because it was in capitals. <laughs> New Age Curses. Whether you believe in karmic consequences or not, there are ethical considerations to magic with a key. such as curses and hexes. These clearly have greater implications than other ethical conundrums like casting love spells on another person. 
Some paths forbid it entirely, while others permit it only in self-defence. However, there are a number of questions the practitioner should ask before casting a harmful spell. Do you dwell too much on the desired results? You may experience disappointment and depression if the result is not what you expected. Are you performing this magic With a key. for personal gain? Emotions of avarice or envy might interfere with the magic. Without a key, for some reason. For some reason. It's said that if you don't let go of a grenade, you will eventually blow yourself up. The same can be said of working harmful magic. With a key. Even if you don't believe in the rule of three, it is always best to cleave to Rudolf Steiner's golden rule. For every one step that you take in the pursuit of higher knowledge, take three steps in the perfection of, our, of your own character. Knowledge of Higher Worlds and its attainment 1904. Illustration. Lock of hair. The hair of a living person can be used in many forms of magic. With a key. From love spells to curses. When mixed with sulphur and buried, it can inflict harm on the subject. Oh my god, there's more? I don't mind reading. Ooh, this is actually a secret. Secret. Do you want to read this one? Sun and moon. The sun and moon are important to the practical magician without a key. The sun represents death and rebirth of God whose life cycle is marked by the wheel of the year. The sun is born at the winter solstice, matures in spring, flourishes at the summer solstice, then wanes in autumn and winter before being reborn. It sustains life, helps the growth of nature, that feeds us and keeps us warm. The moon represents the divine goddess, queen of heaven. She is the keeper of mysteries, ruler of psychic powers and unseen realms. The moon is identified with women's menstrual cycles. It's, that's with an M. Its phrases are <laughs> aspects of the triple goddess, so that the waxing moon represents a young maiden, the full moon is a pregnant mother, and the new moon, the crone. The sun and moon represent the cosmic balance of male and female universal forces. Around these symbols revolve many mysteries of human existence, such as love, passion, fertility, death and rebirth, as well as the afterlife. They inspire the modern magician without decay. Traditional Wiccan covens honour the goddess on the Espets. full moon, <laughs> while Druidic tra traditions celebrate the solar solstices and equinoxes. The illustration is sun and moon. These magic charms represent male and female, the cosmic lovers. They provide good luck, protection, and fertility for couples. Mm. That's it. Like a man of Medan, when you get a book that you can actually read, mm. it's always just a, a two page and a two page spread. I always think the menstrual cycle and the moon thing is funny because it's like, and werewolves! Don't forget those two. Oh god. What? Whoa. Seems dangerous, but okay. Two bullets missing. Free gun. You all done with poking around? Agitated or serious? I think I should be serious. Yeah, do you want to tell her or not? Found this inside. What the hell are you doing with a gun? It was hidden under the floor. You should have left it there. Guns are dangerous. We're already in enough trouble. Docile or assertive? <laughs> I don't know, because it's a game and not real life. I'm going to keep it for now. I'm keeping it. This is one crazy night. Oh, she didn't like that. We could need this. I think she made that obvious from the beginning. Killed. I'll be careful, I promise. Sticks it in his butt. <gasps> Men and guns. Make sure the damn thing stays in your pants. I don't want to see it again. Admittedly, if it is anything like a man of Medan, picking up a weapon just means you're going to die. Yeah, well, in man of Medan, it was, um, you pick up a weapon, it's like, do you, do you want to choose how you kill the next person you come across? <laughs> when you accidentally think they're a demon. 
Is there. that a different prompt? Yeah. For a tree. It's a man on a tree this time. What kind of place is this? Hmm. Rural America. I don't actually know where it's supposed to be set. Rural I'm sure America. It, I'm sure it told us. It did as Massachusetts. Oh. Where's that? Uh, the East Coast, I think, isn't it? No idea, I'm afraid. Uh, to Boston? Yeah, that's the East Coast. That one I do know. Professor? Oh, he's gone, admittedly. He's usually been quite patient. Hello? No more pickups that I can see. Oh, there he is. Okay. <gasps> Stop running away from danger. Andrew here is packing. What? A gun? Are you crazy? Uh, defensive, we need the gun. That's what I'm gonna go for. We don't know what's out there in the fog. Better to... Oh my god, no one likes this. Need it, ...than need it and be defenseless. The likelihood of your getting shot goes up dramatically if you are carrying a weapon. Whatever. If the gun makes you feel safe, keep the damn thing. I really don't care anymore. You sure? That was quick. That's really hammering home this don't take the gun thing. Well, maybe you shouldn't. We'll see. This is a choice Keeler is responsible for. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. I mean, okay. I've got a gun. I mean, there's this <laughs> sign here. It has nothing to do with breaking the window, but it has a cat on it. That's really cool. Yeah, the bar had a cat on it as well. That seems to be a theme. It's, it's the cat of justice. Little Hope Police Department. And yeah, surely I'd just take my gun and sh jam it at the window. It looks like it's a single pane. You could whack it with the handle. They're ah. usually built fairly solidly, aren't they? Whatevs. Let's have a... Or is that a no-no? I will, guess will not. Some gum nut, gun, gum nut? Will some <laughs> gun nut write in and sort of go, no, you must never use it, and the weapon might go off and shoot your penis off? Maybe. What's... Oh. En enter? It's to uh, take the story forward by entering the building. Because you're going to pick up something you can smash the window with, I'm assuming. I guess. That's nice, actually, to have so that much it more information. That you, admittedly, yeah. Because I'm, I'm still annoyed that I um, didn't talk to the guy in the bar. <laughs> oh, the other thing I quite like so far is that um, when you pick one of the options, speech, you will say the thing it says. Admittedly, a lot of their social RPG mechanic type games are very guilty of Making it so that you say something's totally not what you meant to say, obviously. Enough to change the tone so that you would both maybe pick the other yeah. option. Yeah, examine. That's a yeah, death scene, yeah. And it is. Interesting. Premonition unlocked mercy. How you doing, John? I think that's it. It has now been 16 minutes since he last ran away. <laughs> He's surprisingly like, I've got to take care of anyone. What is this, a dark shack? I've got to run away. <laughs> but in and of itself, it just seems dangerous, but... This rock. Looks good. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at ten paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away, and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. <laughs> oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. You think a rookie could make a shot like that? You just... Oh, never mind. You just threw it at the window! Oh my god. Looks safe enough. See, now that's breaking and entering. Hmm. <sighs> the window was already open. No, that doesn't count either. Piece of cake. 
You're up next. I was waiting for the payoff there, like, I'm sort of going, why is everyone slowly climbing through this window? Why are we watching them do it? It is now Peter's turn. <gasps> Squirrel! <laughs> going to the middle school. This is so Silent Hill. He's gone to the school. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. Yeah, that is like a bus or something. Noise. I'm sure School bus? Nothing. Looks like it. And there's a gate, and then there is a left passage. Oh, and oh. a sign. To be fair, the gate might be a dead end. Land for sale. Mm. No surprise that didn't sell. Who'd want land in this godforsaken town? I mean, lots of places buy land in the middle of nowhere. All sorts of reasons to build a house when no one will go. Oh, it does not like that, no. Okay, one more try, one more try. <laughs> I was just wanting does to see the sign. Flashing? But it might want you to look at the gate first. And, okay. Yeah. No, that's to go ahead, so... I don't know then. Maybe it's... Maybe you just go ahead. Maybe it's for another time when you come out, or... I wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Hmm, frustrated or reassuring. Hmm, don't stress it. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. So the enter doesn't always mean that you're going that way, unfortunately. I'm assuming if we'd split up different and she wasn't with us, that we'd be able to. Oh, maybe, yeah, if it was you and Andrew. Stick together and follow the little girl. This is the same map as on the intro screen, don't Yeah, think. I think so. Also assigned to the right of the bridge. 1692, so not very old. By English standards. Oh, playground? Well, let's go there. It sounds really lovely and safe. <laughs> Come on, Taylor. Be swift. Why did she come in here? Okay, let's have a look around. There's a seesaw. Climbing frame jungle gym thing. It's a, a note. Picnic table. Not do anything with it. It's like a, a smaller figure and a larger figure in a robe holding something facing the, the smaller figure. Oh, I thought figure. he was praying. I thought those were oh. his clasped hands. Oh, well, maybe then. Didn't seem to do anything. There was another path back out by the door, by the way. Just yes, there was, but she's in here and it said stick together. Okay, then.
Hey, are you okay? I said of a concerned, concerned. Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. Are you reaching for her? Oh, God. Oh, what the hell is going on? I actually pulled back on the stick. Tell me that didn't just happen. Quiet now. What are you talking about? Or he will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you are in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No. I mean, I'm gonna just go for outraged. Let go of her right now. <laughs> what spell have you cast? I am frozen to my mind. I do nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth, one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. That was odd. Mm. So, like, we interacted with the past? It did look like it. Find another way out to stick together. Postcard? That was like a stone. That was from the trailer. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Can't go down that way. It was a good silhouette over there, that building. Is it a building? I thought it might be a tombstone. Oh, this is dripping atmosphere. Right, it's great. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Oh, it's dark. It is, yeah. I was going to say it act it's actually making some quite good use of um, silhouetting and things like that. Like yeah. that. Seeing the building from a distance there was really cool. Same as this door over here being uh, sort of lit with the contrast is quite cool as well. That's very go this way, admittedly. But yes, um, I was thinking on the trail, it's like it doesn't look dark enough to really need a torch, but it's down there, obviously. Uh... Oh well. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm going to have a look. Oh, 
little stones or something. Oh, right. Rune stones. I think this one represents a sweet. Yeah, it looks like a piece of candy. Yeah, it's full of like weird stuff. Antlers and animals, I think. Skulls, yeah. Not doing very well for sticking together, admittedly. Yeah, she's there. You can see her. Place must have been a grocery store or something. <laughs> that campaign didn't work out too well. Stop the closure, yeah. Mm. Yeah, there was another shiny somewhere when you came out. There's one there too, and one there too. Look in this bin. Oh, I think that's to push the bin. What are you doing? Maybe. Help me push this, will you? Yeah. Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. Kind of pushed it before I knew what I was doing it for, like. But yeah, okay. we didn't actually check the door. It is very like, shouldn't we check we can't open the door first? Hang on, Taylor, I'm just gonna check this door. Let's just find another way. It's also something there ish, yeah. Over here, look at this. Protest posters. Hope for little hope. The carvers want to close the factory and sell the land. Development would result in the and devastate the community. The union has proposed an offer to save the factory and our town. Please sign our petition to persuade the carver family to accept the union offer and reverse their decision. Ask for details from staff at the post office or town hall, Citizens of Little Hope, and Tle Local 618, which will be another union. Hmm. I was going to finish looking around and then uh, we could probably pop in the next episode. Absolutely. Is that to get in that window? Because there's also yeah. over there as well. But, uh, yes. I don't know how quickly I've sort of jumped ahead. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. Seriously? You're going in there? I mean, I want to say got a better suggestion. I'm not sure I like impatient, but okay. Well, do you have a better suggestion? Sure. Don't go into an old, dark, creepy-ass building after the night we've had. See nothing reassuring or scornful? Mm. Reassuring, I guess. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. we Will do. Be right back. Promise. I kind of wish there was an option of change my mind and go back down. Hmm. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. <sighs> Thank you. I'm in! Is it safe? Think so. 